Capricorni Divine Soul, how are you? My name is Vince and welcome to 7D Tarot. Today I will channel some messages for you. If they resonate, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with your angels and me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective catered towards us empaths, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box. Now let's dive right into your reading Capricorn, see what messages spirit has for you. So four of wands, the tower, five of pentacles, 10 of swords. So understand there is a big reward coming your way for some very good karma that you've had in the past. You did something, you helped someone, you did something. And right now your vibrations are attracting that magnetic energy of abundance. So you're going to be rewarded. This is beautiful energy. But understand in order for this to come in, you do have to really look out for the warning signs from your angels and guides, which are telling you that any sort of scarcity mindset of you telling yourself that you have to be lucky to be rich. You have to be, you know, a certain person. You have to be, you know, um, like any limiting beliefs telling you that you don't deserve a reward. Any sort of uh, you being hard on yourself. Anything, and I mean anything, guys. That sort of energy prevents this reward from coming in. <laughs> you know, it is your birthright to be rich healthy and with your soulmate. You signed a contract with your angels and guides in the fifth dimension to come here and learn lessons. Now, while you're here, you're supposed to be living comfortably. You're not supposed to be suffering. You're not supposed to be struggling to make your payments. You're not supposed to be struggling to find your soulmate. All of these things happen because we make them happen. You're asking yourself, why the heck would I do that? Well, what happens is spirit wants to reward us. For example, in this case, this reward is waiting for you. You deserve this. You did something very, very good and it's waiting to manage manifest in your life. Spirit wants to give you this, but every time we're about to be rewarded our desires, we put up an energy roadblock by limiting beliefs. When you are hard on yourself, when you beat yourself up, when you don't give yourself the credit you truly deserve, when you don't celebrate the small victories because you think you're being humble, this is creating those uh, um, energy blockages which are lowering your vibration. So for example, it's almost like Imagine going to someone's house and they want to offer you a cup of tea, for example, or a coffee. And imagine when they bring it to you, you're like, I don't want this. And you're like, they're like, no, 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 please. You know, we, we know you really want this. You're like, no, no, I don't want this. I don't deserve this. I'm so stupid. Why, why don't I have what I want? I don't deserve this sort of uh, love. I, don't give it to me. Imagine how offended that person would be. They're like, oh man, this person's got issues, right? And then why is that? That's only because your ego is creating a scarcity mindset because it hates change. You gotta be aware of this. So right now, the universe wants to give you a reward. So what would a nice guest say to that host that was bringing them that coffee? They'd be like, thank you very much. Bring it in. I truly do deserve this. I appreciate it. I will enjoy this. And I thank you graciously, right? That's the energy you need to have. You need to understand, oh, it is my birthright to be rich. Spirit wants this for me. I am a good soul. I have nothing but good intentions within me. Of course, I deserve abundance. Who better than me? But what happens is us humans, we create these limiting beliefs like, why did I do this? I am so stupid. I can't believe I did this. And we live in the past and we beat ourselves up. You know what happens is our mind can't tell the difference between real or fake. So it feels like it just happened. Now you're dying a thousand deaths trapped in the past. What does that do? Tell spirit, I don't want nothing new. I'm happy in the past. Like attracts like law of attraction. Spirit goes cool. Do you see where I'm going with this? So spirit wants to make you rich. Spirit wants you to be with your soulmate. Your angels and guides, everyone's setting this up, but we're the ones telling spirit, we don't want this. So right now, expect this reward, assume this reward, law of attraction, law of assumption, same thing as law of gravity, one of the laws of the universe, and just let in the abundance. Now look at this, your guides love you. Look, four of pentacles, we're holding on, justice, the uh, full card and the world. Right now, you are meant to be happy. Right now, Spirit's telling you, you're meant to take the leap of faith, enjoy life, potentially travel with that world card as well. But that requires you, what? Letting go of past energies, past habits, past mind states, past ideologies, whatever the case is. Anything that makes you feel bad has to go. For example, Say if you want to start a business, but every time you want to do it, fear sets in and says you're going to fail, so you hold on tight to what you currently have, that energy has to go. You can tell it has to go because it feels bad. Like attracts like law of attraction, justice. So whatever you feel 
happens, guys. So for example, the problem we have is we tell spirit, spirit, I want to be rich. Or spirit, I want my soulmate. And then bring it in. You know what spirit says? Spirit goes, what the heck does that mean? Bring it in. What, what does it mean? I want my soulmate. I want to be rich. What is the definition of your soulmate? What is the definition of I want to be rich? Does rich mean I want a million dollars? A hundred million dollars? Does rich mean I want time? What do you mean? Who's your soulmate? Is your soulmate blonde? Are they brunette? Are they tall? Are they short? Are they old? Are they young? If you don't know, if you are not 100% precise with the energy that you want, spirit won't deliver it to you. Us humans, what we do is we tell spirit or universe, write the script of my life. No, it's not how it works. You know how it works? You write the script of your life. Law of assumption. You deliver that script to the director, which is the genie in the sky, which is the which is your angels and guides and spirit source energy. The genie reads it and goes, your wish is my command. Every single time, your wish is my command. Now, you, poor Aladdin had three wishes. You have unlimited wishes. Isn't that insane? That's the best, right? So what does that mean? Write your script. It's so much fun. What do you want in life? Let's figure it out. Grab a pen and paper. Oh, today I met my soulmate in the present tense. They are this tall. They make this much money. They have this job. They have this pet. They have these children or they want these children. They asked me out on this date. Let spirit know how you're going to get asked out, who this person is, what they want, what you guys have in common, what do you like about them, what don't you like about them. All that good stuff. Let spirit know and get it. When you take some time for yourself, when you reflect inwards, when you set the plans in motion, everything unfolds for you organically, opportunity after opportunity, but what? Look at that four swords. What's this person doing? Tapping into their spiritual powers. What are they not doing? Worrying, thinking, wanting, needing, human filters, boring. No, what are they doing? Creating, right? Being imaginative. All the stuff you were doing when you were younger. You know you can do this because you were doing it before. You are my sister, you are my brother. I promise you I will not waste a second of your time telling you to do some hocus pocus stuff that's not real. This is the law of attraction. This is measurable, quantified, magnetic energy. This is real deal, guys. Quantum physics. So right now, what do you have to do? Reprogram your subconscious mind to really bring out the bravery, the courage, the gusto within you to try something new. You want to reprogram your subconscious mind? No problem. Check out Dr. Joe Dispenza. Dr. Joe Dispenza. Dr. Joe Dispenza. I say it three times so it sinks in. Check him out on YouTube. He's free. He'll teach you how to reprogram your subconscious mind and we'll show you this 5,000 clinical studies done measuring the magnetic energy that you emit. So you feel something, you attract something. This is science, guys. This is not hocus pocus. So what does that mean? March to the beat of your own drum and then everything you want will come your way, but you have to be strategic. So right now, Spirit is telling you there's a big reward coming into your life. Fantastic. Why don't you tell Spirit what that reward is? What is that reward? Is that reward money? Is that reward fame? Is that reward love, romance? Is that reward health? What do you want it to be? Does this sound like it's too good to be true? Yes, but does it work? Guys, it actually works. You know how it works? Because you've been doing the same old, same old your whole life. Where has that led us, right? You know who else has been doing that? Your neighbors, your coworkers, your friends. I know all of mine have. I know I was doing the same old before, but guess what? I changed my outlook. Now what? Now we got Netflix executives approaching my wife and I trying to do shows. We have book deals. We have Amazon businesses that are monetized that we can live off of now. We have a YouTube channel that it generates so much income we don't even know what to do with, right? We would do this for free. We would literally do this for free. Why? Because I wake up and I connect with my angels and guides anyway. So what did we do? We monetized our passion. Something that I would do for free, I am getting paid to do now. On my In my spare time, do you know what I do? I journal, I meditate, I connect with my angels. What do I do here on YouTube? The exact same thing. I'm getting paid for something I do for free. What else do I do in my spare time? I go to shelters and I help out dogs. And now what do I have? A pet supplement line on Amazon called Nested Pets. I would do that for free. I help out dogs for free. Matter of fact, I pay to do that, right? So right now, I'm just trying to show you that I am a simple dude. I am not special. I am not an angel from the heavens, right? I'm a regular dude that figured out how to play this game that's telling his sisters and his brothers what to do. If I can do it, you can do it. And this is something that you guys gotta just take initiative. You just gotta do it. Don't listen to this hocus pocus fairy tale stuff. Don't be trying to just, you know, uh, uh, wish, want, and need. Don't be watching these Netflix shows and the main character sitting at home just, you know, uh, eating Cheetos and all of a sudden Romeo and Juliet shows up and changes 
their life. It doesn't work like that, guys. Romeo or Juliet is at this vibration. They are not going to lower their vibrations. All you have to do is raise your vibrations and you track them. Moment you do so, bam, your angel set it up. Or you could be thinking, 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 and then your ego becomes your best friend. This is not the friend you're looking for. Take a look at this card. Does this look like your friend? No, march to the beat of your own drum. Understand that you write the script of your life and everything Capricorn becomes effortless. I've been on both sides of the fence, the angel side, spirit side, it's easy peasy, there's no resistance and it's fun. Every day is something new. The other side, Snooze fast, boring movie on repeat. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, subscribe, and comment. I can't wait to your next reading. Till then, I'll say bye, but we'll chat soon.